going to talk about the the rest of the trip. So um, just went a wander uh, along to do a bit of turn. So there's a a novelty thing I would say called a uh, giant chair. So just if you come out of uh, Theo Sunset and you go to the promenade at the back and basically follow that all the way round heading towards the harbour you'll come to a section that has a giant chair um, I forget the name of the hotel that's beside it so you can go, you can walk down the front as well and you'll see a sort of a uh, big boat that's sitting on the grass if you see that you can cut down and there's a restaurant that's just before it, uh, and then the, ch the big giant chairs there. There's also a novelty love heart, so for the photographers and people that want to take uh, photos, this is what you would see. And then we wandered up to see uh, there's a cafe. I wanted to see a couple of cafes, so this one is a bus that's called Cafe Me. We stopped in there for a drink and something to eat. Yeah, the cafe in me is basically like a, an old style red bus. Yeah, that's got a wee bit of top, but looks like a London bus basically that has been converted into a, a wee coffee shop. Yeah, and I've got a wee seat in the area as well. So I hadn't tasted cold coffees from properly from anywhere before the holidays so coming here I tried uh, in there I, tr I think I tried a cold frap or whatever you call it so cafe frap cafe frap and I uh, forget what I had to eat can't remember if it was a cookie I think it was a cookie <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what but yeah, so we found that, got a couple of photos and then wandered back for us. It was probably about a 30 minute walk there and back, so an hour. Next day, we get picked up by the Wave Dancer bus to go to a boat trip called, exactly as I say, the Wave Dancer. The Wave Dancer is worth checking out. I can't remember what the prices are, but you get four hours all inclusive. So like your drink included, and you get a basically barbecue styled meal, and it stops off. So whilst you are whilst they are prepping the food as such, they they set up drop anchors so that people can go out and swim, and they provide yeah, a lot of security options yeah, like your whatever swimming gear you like. See, so it, it mm, that you need for going in the water, yeah, they'll arrange for you. They also give you a lot of yeah, advice. I tried a new beer. I'd seen a beer on tap called Zorbras. Um, so tried that. That was nice. It was just as good as the Leo and the Kio. Leo and the Kio. Yeah, but in the food, it was a hamburger, a sausage, chicken on skewers. Like a chicken satay, pita bread, potato, salad, I think that's all that I got. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, it was delicious. They have an entertainer, the guy uh, is from Belgium, which I don't know if I knew that the last time. Uh, he has been on the boat the last few times that I've been there. He does do a great cover of uh, Prince in Purple Rain, so definitely worth going and seeing that. They do an eight one and they have uh, all kinds of artists. I think they had acrobats the last time we were there, uh, which was really good to see. They kind of bring in the audience as such to uh, use as holds to do their acrobatics. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend trying out the wave dancer. Yeah, and when you're there, that's a bus to Coralway Strip, uh, it was five minutes from the hotel, so we get the bus down to a restaurant called The Ocean Basket. This I would recommend to anyone that likes seafood. Probably the best seafood place that we've been to on the island yet, I think. Uh, just the look of the place is fine dining type of restaurant. Uh, the the platter for one 
which I think consisted of mussels, prawns, like the big prawns, the calamari uh, and squid that's kind of fried and I think it was haddock fish and chips uh, as you can see. This is one of the best dishes that we've had. Uh, the sauce used for the, the mussels was just so delicious, like uh, used pretty much other seafood stuff to kind of try and mix in it to get a taste. I got usual uh, beer and I got a, I think it was a rosy wine I got uh, for that. Oh yeah, it gave us complimentary bread with three dips, so one was chilies. Now one was like a mustard -y garlic and they were amazing. And if you like seafood, I would highly recommend checking out Ocean Basket. But yeah, so we went there, Ocean Basket, and then we went round to uh, Dionysus, mainly because for Caroline, you do a really good uh, raspberry or strawberry daiquiri, frozen, uh, as well as a Blue WKD. Uh, and for me, there's plenty of options. Keo. Whilst I was here, I did try uh, the espresso martini. They were amazing. To be honest, it's recommended. So on Saturday, we wanted to go check out the Old Town Market and just kind of around that area. And then we wanted to go check out the bars round about the harbour because previous times with a regular has been the Coral Bay Strip so we've normally went to Dionysus so we wanted to experience some of the other ones so we went to a place called at the Agora Cafe I think we got there for 12 so it was uh, lunch time so Caroline got a wee a frozen strawberry daiquiri which does look pretty nice and I went for a, a handmade milkshake Banana milkshake and it was amazing, well worth it. Uh, for lunch, Caroline got a uh, fried calamari with chips and I got the house sandwich, which was really lovely and again, well worth it. Especially sitting at the front and looking out to the views over looking at the sea. And then after that, we spent a wander around the shops Never really got it, but yeah, we just wanted to have a nosy whilst we were there. Um, we were in a bag shop, so yeah, we stopped off at Cava Cafe. Caroline got an apple pie that came ice cream, and I just got a beer. I did get a bit of pie, and it was absolutely delicious. Nice, soft, moist, uh, with I think it was powdered sugar that was on it, um, so it was lovely. And ice cream as well. Um, and then after that, we just went another sh quick wander around the shop bit again and then got a bus back down to the harbour. In one of the films that Caroline loves, there's a phrase that when somebody says a murderer or a serial killer, uh, it says, Why not? Uh, so before we had went, Caroline had found a pub uh, that's Along the harbour, it's actually called Why Not. So we went, stopped in there just for uh, two drinks. Um, again, I'm not a big football fan, so when we were there, there was uh, football in about three different screens. So, and uh, not to mention, there was basically football jersey scarves or other from pretty much all over uh, Europe, at least anyway. Uh, I didn't see all of it, but you know, Caroline had seen. Some from Glasgow, so Rangers and Celtic wanted to go around and see the Flintstones. There was some of the pub around there, so there was the Robin Hood bar and Flintstones. Um, these were closed when we went round initially. Uh, I thought that was them closed for the summer, but turns out uh, they just opened at a certain time, so that's something to note uh, if you want to go drinking round about the bars at the harbour. Yeah, you can, there's ones in the, main, the, the front that are always going to be open, so there's like stuff there for before 
uh, six to go and have food and drink. These pubs uh, open up at six and they're open to late. Some of them open at nine and other and and beyond, depending on where you're going. We had just done a wonder to see the, the pubs and see what ones were around about where. And then we came back and we had some food at the Friends Bar. I got a New York burger that had, I think, the Jack Daniels sauce on it, yeah, which was lovely. And uh, she got a, that's what it was, it was a kebab that yeah, came in a pita bread thing. Uh, that was tasty as well. Uh, we stayed there for a couple of drinks. And then we came out and just done a slight wander around, checking what bars were open uh, from then. Um, and then we wound up back at uh, a bar called Baywatch. So in there for a couple of drinks. Well, sorry, that's a lie. Went in there for a, went in there for a drink because this was probably the most expensive place to drink. So, like, the price for a strawberry daiquiri elsewhere was cheaper than what was here. This Baywatch, it was like a straight tenner for, well, straight ten euros. Um, and I got a, a Bailey's thing, so, so we didn't always stay for the one drink. And to top it off, the strawberry daiquiri didn't come the way that the previous other locations had made the, the strawberry daiquiris. So we didn't really think it was full and worth it. So we left and decided to go round to the Flintstones and check that out. And I got to say that was way, way better. We same thing, Caroline had our strawberry dackies and a blue wicked and I had my beer and my espresso martini. Yeah, and I did have a lot of espresso martinis that were weren't too expensive here, so went into a little bit. Yeah, uh, and then you just went up the road. So we'd basically been out and about uh, drinking and eating uh, from 12 in the afternoon and we didn't get back home till we'd left uh, the bars about nine um, and by the time we got the bus it was just before ten so we went back to the room and just had a, a couple of drinks then and just sat and watched the the sun disappear, or well, the, the night, the uh, sea. Um, Monday night we went to a restaurant called Sunset Breeze, which again I would highly recommend. So for a starter, Karen got prawns and a paprika style sauce um, with some pita bread and I got a grilled halloumi and it came in it with pita bread as well. That was delicious. And then for the main meal, Caroline got a sort of breaded prawn thing, get what you call it, with chips. That was amazing. And I got a seafood risotto, which came with prawns, muscle calamari, and uh, the risotto rice, or whatever you want to call it. And that was amazing. The, whatever sauce they used in it was amazing. Kind of wanted to keep eating it. Half a cafe, it was just five minute walk along from the kitchen, eh, the hotel and we got a slice of apple pie as well which eh, was actually a huge slice. I mean it was nice, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't as nice as the cat, eh, Cava Cafe apple pie. I don't know if because that came ice cream or whatever but it didn't taste as moist as the Cava Cafe. Eh, it was still good. I had, I think it was a frozen mocha coffee thing. That was way better than the frap. The frap was good, uh, but because I was waiting ages for the ice to melt, I couldn't quite taste the coffee or whatever uh, through it after initially sort of drinking it. But with this one, there wasn't as much ice in it, so I got to uh, pretty much drink all of it uh, and without having to wait, and it was tasty. That's me.